This is the Alton Estate in Roehampton. Like so many, it's a community hit hard by the pandemic. At lunchtime, the cafe would usually be full of diners. The dry cleaners busy serving students and cleaning suits. But that's almost all disappeared, as well as many opportunities. But among the hardship, we found stories of survival and hope. James is 18. He takes his younger brothers to school and on a Friday collects a box of food to help the family through the week. The items that I normally like want to get is like bread, milk, etc., like the essentials. Collected. So 20 been collected by Regenerate? Yes. And they'll have gone out from the Ashburton estate? But there's so much more here at Heathmere School. It's a base where organisations work together to support families with many things. Anything from over here that's extra. And it's where James was put in touch with youth charity Regenerate, who helped him find work. Before it was just sitting at home doing nothing, because Covid sort of just put a stop to everything. But five months ago, he got his first job, and he travels to Battersea three times a week to work. I don't really see it as a job really, I more just see it as most of the people I work with are like, my friends pretty much. Coming up with this business model at a time when takeaway is our only option has given opportunities to youngsters in and around Roehampton. Now we have 11 young people so we actually doubled the amount of young people that's working and yeah it's important because I feel like jobs are so scarce right now. To understand the scale of what the pandemic's done to people's opportunities, you've only got to look at the statistics here. In January 2020, fewer than 400 people were claiming unemployment benefit in this area. In January 2021, that went up to 1,100. James's story is an exception, and for him, this job has changed so much. It, it does help with like, now that I get paid monthly. Especially with just random bills up here. There's a determination here to support young people like James in this time when unemployment has hit our young people hardest. Tara Welsh, BBC London.